So at this point, I've made three Deadliest Warrior videos, with this being my fourth, and it's pretty safe to say that we've run this show into the ground. There's not really much more you can say about it. It's a Spike TV show. That's why I've decided to make this my last Deadliest Warrior video. I was going to make the third one my last, but there's some things about this show I feel like I haven't covered that well that we will in this episode. Number one, we've only done the modern episodes, so guns, explosions, stuff like that. And number two, something that I do touch on every episode, but we haven't seen to the extent that we will today, is the bickering between the weapons experts. No matter what, you're gonna see that on one of these episodes, but this episode I think has the most out of any I've seen yet. Now I know that 99% of you guys out there know what Deadliest Warrior is, but for those who don't, very quickly summed up, Deadliest Warrior is a Spike TV show where we take two warriors from history, ancient or modern, and pin them up against each other to see who is the deadliest warrior. Our hosts are Jeff Damelin, the biomedical engineer, Max, the computer whiz, which he's back this episode. This is an early episode, so he's still on the show. Not like that, that one fucking guy. And of course, the doctor, which most of you guys know, Spike TV doctors are just there to add legitimacy, stretch the runtime, tell us shit we know and can see in front of us that doesn't need explaining. So obviously the head is completely thrown away from the body. The spine is almost completely pulled out from the body. So that's Deadliest Warrior. The episode we're gonna be taking a look at is the Spartan vs. Ninja, which some of you might have been there on the stream however many months ago when I watched this episode. I don't really remember anything from it, but if I make a joke that sounds kind of like a joke I made on that stream that one night, I'm sorry. Scientist and karate black belt Jeff Damaline why is these dummies to computers that collect the injury data? You can see in these early episodes that Deadliest Warrior Money hasn't hit Jeff's account yet because he is still dressing like a fucking dork. <laughs> he hasn't fully evolved into True Value Dane Cook just yet. Weapon specialist Jeremy Dunn and former Green Beret Barry Jacobson will demonstrate the Spartan way of war. This guy here, Barry, the Spartan expert, he is such a dick. He is the most antagonizing expert ever. Like, constantly through the show, he is butting heads with the other experts and, like, kind of bullying them a little bit. <laughs> In Thermopylae Pass, 300 Spartans faced off against an army of half a million Persians. Another thing that's refreshing to see in these older episodes is the PS2 graphics that are their special effects. It adds a level of charm. To measure the striking force of the spear, our team attach high-tech sensors to wrist, spear, and our ninja standing. And of course, the bulk of the show is the weapons demonstrations, which the first will be the spear, and they're gonna attach a high-tech sensor to it so they can get some high-tech gadget, high-tech data. They, they say high-tech all the time, literally all the time, to a point where it just takes away whatever meaning that it has anymore. As a Los Angeles ER doctor, Dr. Armand Dorian has seen a world of hurt. He'll examine just what the Spartan spear will do to the human body. I can't wait for his insight on that. We can't use these weapons on actual human beings. Well, not... not yet. Not until they read the fine print in Max's contract stating that he can be used as a test dummy. They don't do that till later, though. So, our next best bet is using ballistics gel. The ballistics gel is gonna give us the same consistency that you would find in human tissue. Is there no way they can make these test dummies any more flattering? It's literally gel molds that are made at this company. They can make anything they want, but they have them like, oh. This is a definite fatal blow. I, I, I guess if if you say so, Doc. Thirty seconds. This this guy's dead. Beautiful. Ninja, where's the ninja? At? And that's one strike. Where is that little prick? Hey, ninja, come look at this. That's the energy from the spear moving the actual body backwards. Jeez. No the end story there. Yeah, you can really see the damage here, like how the body's just blowing back like that. Damn. I'm fucking good. Say, could I get like a copy of this to take home on DVD or something? Max Geiger enters the spear stats into the Deadliest Warrior computer program. I don't know what any of this on the spreadsheet means or what these numbers mean. They're just typing in anything like, oh, the spear? I'd say that looks like five. Yeah, I think that did about five. Maybe I'm just not supposed to know. After all, I'm not the computer whiz. This program was developed by Slytherin Studios over in the UK, and it's taken them five years to build it. Five years to develop? That's longer than this show was on the fucking air. <laughs> Based on what I've seen so far, uh, the Spartans are a lot stronger than I had expected. You know, it's one thing when they use the experts for their expertise. 
and knowledge. But when you start factoring in their own strength and abilities and then like matching that up with the warrior, like him saying, oh, I didn't know the Spartans were that strong. No, you didn't know Jeremy was that strong. That's how strong Jeremy is, okay? All we have to do is get <laughs> within six feet of you. You have no armor. Our spear, as we show, will just go through you like... You mean that big slow thing that you can get out of the way of in a blink of an eye? Yeah, you can try. A Spartan spear is just like any spear. It's long, it's pointy at one end, and it has a guy behind it. You really hit the nail on the head there. That is exactly what a spear is. He has to get within the lethal range of the Spartan spear. I think that's going to be his weakness. So I'm not going to lie, the Spartan's pretty effective. Did they make him go outside for that? Everyone else has been inside talking, and they don't do any demonstrations outside, so he's just out there. <laughs> so now that we see the list of Spartan weapons, it's time for the ninja guys to go shopping for their stuff that they brought with them, so they already know what they are gonna bring to the ta- I don't give a shit. The ninja mastered a multitude of weapons, because if he couldn't hit you with one, he'd hit you with another. I love this fucking guy, Lou. He's just as intense as Barry. Not as big of a dick, I will say that, but he's just as intense and it's fucking hilarious. When he comes to Deadliest Warrior, he does not come to play, even though that's basically all these guys are doing every episode, is just fucking playing. He uses a javelin at long range. In close, he has a spear. I don't want to rip on the special effects too much, but I do have to nitpick on this one shot where they just have this hole being so poorly tracked onto this guy's body. I know me in eighth grade with my Toshiba laptop editing on After Effects could have done way better than this, and that kid sucked. Now this next weapon might be the silliest one we've seen demonstrated on Deadliest Warrior ever. Some eggs. One of the ninja's best weapons against armor is something a Spartan would never expect to see on a battlefield. Hollowed out eggs. But before we see that, all this talk about eggs has gotten me hungry. Which means it's the perfect time to thank the sponsor of today's video, Factor. Most of you guys know this isn't the first time I've worked with Factor, and that's because I really do love their service. Factor makes it possible for you to get fresh, ready-made meals delivered right to your doorstep. And what's great about Factor is they can help you with your day-to-day -day meals no matter what your goals are. Whether you're trying to eat healthier, save money by not ordering costly takeout, or just trying to simplify your daily meals, Factor has got you covered. Their meals arrived already prepared and ready to eat in two minutes or less. And since they're not frozen, they taste so much better than any prepared meal I've ever gotten from a grocery store ever. That's the thing, when I first got them, I was actually really shocked at how tasty they were. I especially appreciate the flexibility they offer with their different meal plans, offering options like keto, calorie smart, vegan, and vegetarian options. More specifically, Factor has a rotating weekly menu of 27 meals and over 34 add-on options like smoothies, keto shakes, desserts, and more. So if you guys want to try out Factor for yourself, use my link below or go to go.factor75.com and use code POGCHRISNOV60 for 60% off your first box. And once you use my link, the description will live update to count up all of the purchases. So I hope you guys go check them out. I think you'll really enjoy it. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring, and now back to the video. Using everyday ingredients, the ninja created the perfect recipe for blinding an enemy. You know, I really think this might be the silliest weapon they've done, but it really is hard to top the deceivingly simple slingshot from the first video. The IRA's slingshot, a child's toy turned deadly sniper weapon. Like it was just a fucking slingshot. Although these are just fucking eggs too, so... I don't know. <laughs> now we've just got the deceivingly simple bucket send. The simple yet most effective tool. Crushed in a hand. <coughs> <coughs> what the fuck is the matter with you? We're gonna track the black egg and see just how much glass gets into the Spartan's eyes. Let's get him suited up. You can tell they didn't quite have the budget they do later on because they are just using the shittiest, most bottom of the barrel, wholesale, awful demonstration dummies that were used to crash test Ford Tauruses in the 90s. This is him? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. I love how cocky he was after doing that. Like, that was the funniest thing ever. Max didn't even crack a smile. That's how you know it wasn't funny. Like, Max didn't even laugh at it. He's just like, dude, I am usually the lamest person here, but I am not today. Whoa, that is full coverage on both eyes. <laughs> oh. It's gonna be brutal. It's definitely gonna affect him in the simulation. They're making a pretty compelling case as to how broken glass shards in your eyes would kind of ruin your day, but I just, I don't know. If you can actually get glass in the eye, which is on the cornea, it's devastating. But glass wasn't the only substance in the black eggs. But why are you whispering? I'm sorry guys, that's my favorite fucking voice to do. I will do it 
any chance I get. A Spartan was used to pain. He spent his entire life in pain and discomfort. His whole training was oriented to make him hard. Wait, make him what? To make him hard. Ugh, make him hard. Gross. Ugh. That's not, I feel like I do that too much. Oh, I wrote, I don't know, maybe skip that joke. It's not that funny, but also you might be able to make it funny if you say it the right way. So maybe give it a shot. Yeah, I did not make it that funny. Um, oh, I wrote, you could even maybe do an editor cut that bit out. People eat that shit up. No, no, I can't keep doing that. There's only so many times I can do the fucking editor cut that bit before it just gets old and tiring. To make him inure to pain. Glass in his eyes, sure, they don't inflict some pain, but it won't stop him. You know what? Since we're already using the strength and the skills and abilities of the weapons experts when determining what happens in the simulation, why don't we try the black eggs on you, Barry? See if you can handle it. Well, the Spartans were fantastic warriors in their own time, but to a ninja, something like a Spartan, just a big piece of meat. I know I said I wasn't gonna dive into it too much, but I love this god-awful filming during the day and then turning the brightness down in post to make it look like night effect. That is some true eighth grade Chris Park shit. To a Spartan, a ninja would be nothing but vermin. He'd be a peasant, armed with weapons he doesn't deserve to carry, fighting better men than himself, scurry around in dark places like a cockroach. This guy is taking this shit way too personally. I think he actually just doesn't like ninjas in real life. As a former paramedic, Jeff DeMoline knows what it takes to kill a man. Yeah, there's at least six inches there of penetration. Wait, who the hell is this guy? I haven't seen him the entire episode. Did he just fucking wander in here? <laughs> yeah, right there, you got some serious damage. That's, what, six inches of penetration just in the body? Yeah, that's gonna leave a mark. Jesus fucking Christ! Who the hell are you? How did you get in here? I don't know. I was just walking around outside and the door was open, so I just came in. We're in the middle of fucking nowhere. What do you mean you were just walking around? Yep. What if I just hang out with you guys for a bit? <sighs> yeah, I, I guess just, just go hang out with Max. The Spartan short sword is only 20 inches long, but it shaped the maximum killing power. Barry honed his sword skills during his eight years as a Green Beret. Is it just me or does that like look really dangerous what they're doing there? <laughs> Again, all the power comes from the down low from my hips, driving the sword into him. All that power. Okay, um, these cameras take up a lot of fucking space, so can you just get on with it? Yeah. How deep do you think this went? Let's find out. I mean, this, this is pretty gnarly really looking yeah. right here. Barry's collision with his steel spine and our gel torso prevents a high-tech comparison of the two swords. What the hell is a high-tech comparison? You can't just keep throwing that phrase around. So the team sets up a different test they obtain the closest substitute the human flesh. They got this guy helping out now, like he's just doing other shit. They're gonna get their fucking use out of him. Does this hurt the pig? I'm sorry, that was, that was an easy fucking joke. Did editor, cut that out. Editor, hey. Editor, c cut that out. Okay, I guess we're just gonna just gonna raw dog it from here. And I think we see why steel is superior. The ninjato gives the ninja the edge at close range offense, but our Spartan experts aren't phased. Coming up, a non-stop ninja assault. Fucking love this guy's voice still, just the way he says an all-out ninja assault. I'm still questioning the lethality of these shurikens, but even a distracting tool has to be fast and it has to be on its mark. So I brought the speed gun and we have a target for you to practice on. Now they're gonna use the guy that wandered in there earlier. They're just like, we ran out of stuff for you to do. You blaze through that chore list really fucking fast. And we're also out of pigs, so. Throwing stars and poison darts are lethal when they hit their mark. What if there's no mark to hit? From his shins all the way to the top of his head, the Spartan is cased in solid bronze armor. You just know this guy put on this armor voluntarily. They didn't even ask him to do this at all. Hey, no, 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 it's, it's okay. You don't you don't have to put on all that stuff. We, we got plenty of B-roll for this and we're kind of on a time crunch. Nope, I brought it. I'm gonna wear it. I just don't see this as being lethal. Well, it's a very sweet weapon if you're throwing against a naked savage. What do you mean by that? But against an armored, bronze-clad warrior, I still think you're in deep jeopardy. Damn, that pat on the fucking shoulder. He does not give a shit. He is a menace. But the Spartan Javelin was designed to be thrown at armies, not individuals. 
This is not like the challenge you see in Olympic Games, for instance. Dude, fucking sit up. Does he know this is gonna be on TV? Whoa. Oh. Right into the diaphragm. We're looking at uh, major damage there. I don't know. I feel like that looks impressive, but the damage isn't as significant as we think. Well, what we just saw looked impressive, but the actual damage is not as significant as you would think. Shit. The javelin would need to have a perfect strike to cause significant damage. Aren't we under the assumption that the weapons are gonna work as they should? Like just because Barry fucking missed, now this historic warrior is gonna take a dent because fucking Barry missed? Like what if Lou missed when he was blowing those darts? It'd be like, oh, the ninja, yeah, those blow darts fucking suck because Lou can't blow straight. I'm gonna stop myself from caring too much about that. You know what? Actually, no. This is my last Deadliest Warrior video. We've done enough. At this point, I don't give a shit. I give a shit, if that makes sense. As you step in, you close with your opponent, cocking your shield back for a devastating strike to the cheek of your opponent. You could hit him with the flat of the shield and knock him on his pants. Ah, uh, yes, that very common saying, knocked on your pants. You know what? I'm probably gonna get like 30 comments from people being like, actually, knocked on your pants is a very common phrase. Hey, 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 take it easy. That's the only one we have. Yeah. Don't fucking kick it. Get out of here. His head is encased in a bronze helmet. His body armor is made of the same thing. It's solid bronze. No slash, no cutting technique is going to penetrate that armor. Something tells me this guy would kick my ass if he saw me wearing that Harry Styles shirt I wore last video. <laughs> Kusari Gama is two weapons in one. A razor sharp scythe combined with a ball and chain on the end. You know what? I think I'm coming around to Jeff's outfit in this episode. I know I said he kind of looked like a goober before, but I think Jeff has drip. Serving cunt, perhaps? You guys let me know in the comments. Gouge is at least two to three inches inside. You actually uh -huh. punctured in the lungs as well, for Absolutely. sure. Absolutely. Yeah, you actually punctured the lung as well. Yeah, when he did... I forgot you were still here, if I'm being honest. But our Spartan experts aren't worried. Now, this is the acid test. You can't cut through this, you can't get to the soft, squishy parts underneath. Good luck, laddie. You're gonna need it. Oh my god, the disrespect. This guy is so close to just giving him a fucking noogie at this point. This is gonna determine a lot of armor penetration for the simulation. Yeah, I think that that looks like a... Like a, like a six on the Excel spreadsheet to me. Maybe... Maybe a seven, but but definitely a six. It's denting for sure, but like you're glancing off. Well, of course, where does the blade go next? Well, it goes right up, up to his right neck. next to the neck. Hmm. From there, exactly, you see where the blade's curving around right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go for the back of the neck. You go for the side of the neck. Hook in there. Drag. Yeah, I guess you could do that, but you didn't. You didn't do that, so it doesn't fucking matter. He's not armored everywhere, is he? Take out one arm. Take out the other arm. Drops his shield, drops his spear. Of course, the only thing left to do is take out the rest of it. That's probably exactly how it would go. I can definitely see the Spartan just standing there like, okay, you know what, never mind. I, I'm starting to sound like the fucking experts and they're like, actually, the Spartan wouldn't just be standing there like, so never mind. That's why I'm suspecting a neck injury in this case. I mean, if we're sitting our head out like that, we're gonna be whacked, but we're gonna be moving around and it's not gonna connect. God damn it, I did sound like the fucking expert. So he said the exact same shit. That That's better. what he counted on. That's why it hit the back. I wanna warn you guys, what we're about to see is the longest argument I've ever seen with the experts on this show ever. You know. So you're telling me your eyes can track a small beam pole about that big that's black whipping in the air? We'll be watching your shoulder. Don't hear that Brother, close. we got full extension beyond your spear. Yeah, okay. He'll... Way beyond your spear. It is a good blow, but hey, ain't gonna happen that way in a real battle. Even if it doesn't, we're not a single track mind. We're not just standing there Neither whipping it we. around. Neither we're setting we. you up. We're playing chess on you. You think you know what we're doing, you have no clue. Just when you think you're fighting your fight, you're actually fighting ours. You guys missed... Our experts can't agree, but the numbers don't lie. Our experts can't agree, but then again, they never really do anyways. After three days of non-stop testing, <laughs> Three days? God damn, I didn't know it took this long. I thought they just knocked this shit out in the afternoon. Max Geiger will take the results and feed them into the computer. Five plus six plus 12 
Coming up, Spot Ninja. The battle begins. All right, guys, now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. We've seen a lot of weapons, a lot of pigs, a lot of really, really shitty test dummies, lots of arguments. We've seen a lot of shit. It's time to see the final simulation and see which warrior is deadly and what they ultimately decided probably months before this in the writer's room. But damn, this is the last simulation on this channel. Unless I ultimately decide otherwise if I need a quick video, but you know what I mean. Let's lock and load. Was that front flip really necessary? The log was like a foot tall at most. You can just hop right over that thing. Well, it looks like that glass in his eye only caused him about three seconds of inconvenience, so fuck that. And it's not something that you can get rid of easily. And of course he fucking misses because Barry can't throw straight. Damn, already that, that was quick. You know, I'm disappointed, but if a ninja saw a Spartan in real life, uh, he would just run away. He'd come back and kill him in his sleep. Yeah, you're right. That would have been so much more entertaining. Come on. Well, guys, that was once again Deadliest Warrior and the last time. I hope you guys did enjoy. I want to thank you for watching this video. Thank you guys for 100,000 subscribers. It only took me 11 fucking years to get here, but I'm <laughs> so happy to be here. But thank you. I appreciate every one of you guys just watching the video, subscribing doing everything. But don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends, do all that other shit. You know, I've got to say it. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all of my uploads. And with all that being said, thank you guys again for watching. Don't forget to check out Factor with my link down below. Use my code, get 60% off. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.